hello guys welcome to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if my content helps you in your learning now we are going to solve this problem which says that replace the loading system acting on the post by equivalent resultant force and couple moment at point a and then the same question but we have to find the equivalent resultant force and couple moment at point b so first we have to represent this force couple system by an equivalent uh, resultant force and couple moment about this point a and then about this point b so first of all the solution of 4102 the solution of this problem right so first of all we have to find the our x component of the resultant so we can say that the our x component of the resultant will be equal to the summation of forces along the x axis is so first of all we need to define our x and y axis this is our positive x this is our positive y axis now to apply the summation of forces along x we have to resolve these two forces into its components into its rectangular components so this uh, 500 newton force will have one component in this direction this one will be the cost component since the angle is made with this particular component so we will write that this component is 500 cos of 60 and similarly you will have one another component this vertical component will be the sine component similarly this 650 newton force will have two components as well so this vertical component is now the cos component since the angle is made with this particular component so we will write that this is uh, 650 cos of 30 and then we will have one another component this one is 650 sine of 30 degrees so now we can add up all the forces that are acting along x or the components that are acting along x so towards the right is our positive x direction so now as we can see that this component is towards the right so it is in the positive direction so we will write plus 650 sine of 30 similarly um, this component is in the negative x so minus 500 cos of 60 this will give us the our x component of the uh, equivalent resi resultant of these three forces so this is 650 sine of 30 minus 500 cos of 60 so this gives me 75 in fact plus 75 newton so this means that the rx component of the resultant is acting towards the positive x axis similarly we will find the ry component of the resultant that will be equal to the summation of forces along the y axis in the upward direction is our positive y direction so now as we can see that all these three components are this force they are acting in the downward direction that is in the negative y so each component is in the negative direction so we will write minus 650 cos of 30 minus 300 minus 500 sine of 60 so this will give us the our y component of the resultant so minus 650 um, cos of 30 minus 300 minus 500 sine of 60 this gives us uh, minus 1296 approximately this will be in newtons so now we can say that the our x component of the resultant is in the positive x this is in the positive x so let me draw the diagram right so our x is in this direction and our y is in the this is in the negative y direction so this is in the negative y direction like this so the resultant will be like this this will be the resultant so this is our x this is our y and this is the resultant so let's say if you want to find the angle of the resultant with the if this is this is our positive x axis is and this is our positive y axis so the angle of the resultant with the x axis is let's say if you want to find that angle theta so we can always apply tan theta so tan theta is perpendicular so now the perpendicular is r y so perpendicular divided by the base so r y divided by x and we can say that theta 
is equal to 10 inverse now ry is magnitude is 1296 divided by rx which is 75 so 10 inverse 1296 divided by 75 this gives us 86.69 so theta is 86.69 degrees and similarly we can find the resultant magnitude by applying the pythagoras theorem so we can say that r is equal to r x square plus r y square under the square root so i will find it directly using calculator so r x is 75 square plus r y is 1296 1296 square this gives me magnitude of r equal to 1298 so this is approximately 1298 newton so now the resultant magnitude is 1298 and it is making uh, that 86.69 degree angle with the horizontal or with the x-axis similarly uh, we have to find um, the couple moment the resultant couple moment which this uh, these three uh, forces and this couple they are producing about point a so first of all let me draw this uh, free body diagram so we will have that same we have that same post and we we, we want to find the resultant uh, Equ the equivalent resultant force couple system at point a so somewhere here is that point a now we have to show that a resultant that we have just obtained so that resultant is going to act somewhere here like this this is our resultant that was thing like this so this is the resultant and its magnitude is uh, 1298 newton it is making that angle theta equals to 86.9 degrees and similarly now we want to find the moment the resultant moment about point a and this will be equal to the summation of the moments due to all the forces about point a so and we will assume that the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so now as we can see that this component and this component they are passing through this point a and similarly this 300 newton is force is passing through this point a so this component this force and this component they are not producing the moment about point a since their moment arm from point a are zero they are intersecting with point a so only this component and this component they are producing the moment and this couple since it's a free moment we, we will aid it right so the summation of moment about point a will be equal to the moment produced by this and the moment produced by this plus this moment so this cost component is producing the uh, counterclockwise moment about point A. So we will write um, 650 cos of 30 and the uh, perpendicular distance of this cost component from that point A is 3 meters. So this 3 meters is the moment arm. So we will multiply this with 3 and this is the counterclockwise moment. So we will put plus sign similarly this component is producing the clockwise moment and its moment arm from point a is this five meters so we will write minus since it is clockwise 500 sine of 60 and the moment arm is five and similarly we have this couple moment it is in the counterclockwise direction its magnitude is 500 so we will write plus five plus 1500 so this will give us the resultant couple moment about point a so 650 and to cos of 13 to 3 or we can say that this is 3 cos of 30 minus 500 into 5 sine of 60 and plus 1500 so this is equal to 1023 or approximately 1024 newton meter and this is plus sign so the plus sign tells us that the resultant couple moment is in the counterclockwise direction so we will say that this is the moment the resultant moment about point a and this is equal to 1024 newton meter so this is the solution of this first problem so we have replaced this force and couple system by the equivalent resultant and equivalent uh, resultant couple moment about this point a 
Similarly, we have to repeat the same procedure for the second problem. We have to replace uh, these three forces, these three forces and couple by their equivalent uh, resultant force and couple moment at point B. So the resultant uh, will remain the same. The angle will remain the same. We have to just find the resultant moment about point B. So now for the second problem, we have to find the resultant moment about point B. Again, the counterclockwise moment is positive. This will be equal to the summation of the moments about point B. So now again, uh, this cos component and this sine component, they are passing to that point B. They are not going to produce the moment about point B. So this component, this component, and this 300 Newton force, they are producing the moment about point B. So we can say that uh, 650 cos of 30, this is producing the counterclockwise moment about point B, and its moment arm from point B is 3 plus 5, 8, 10, right? So we will write that plus 650 cos of 30 into 10. Similarly, this 300 Newton is producing the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus 300 and the moment arm of this 300 Newton force from that point B is 7. So we will multiply it with 7. And similarly, this uh, 500 sine of 60 is producing the counterclockwise moment again. So we will write plus 500 sine of 60 into 2. And similarly, we have to add up this free couple vector, right? So this is plus 1500. So this is equal to so 650 into 10 cos of 30 plus 300 into 7 plus 500 into 2 sine of 60 and plus 1500. This gives me 10,095, 10,095 Newton meter, and this is plus. So now, again, uh, we have to draw the free body diagram. So let me copy this, and let me paste it here. So this is that post, and now we have that point, point A is somewhere here, and here we have that point B. So at point B, again, we have to represent that uh, resultant like this. This is our resultant. Its magnitude is uh, 1298 Newton. It is making the theta, which is 86.9 degrees. And then we have to show that uh, resultant couple moment, which is equal to this. 10,095 Newton meter in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope it will help you in your learning. Do support my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Uh, and let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning.